Game 7 and LCS, Atlanta Braves, Los Angeles Dodgers at Globe Life Field. Incredible Game 7. Anderson going for the Braves. Dustin May starting for the Dodgers. Then top of second, Braves already up 1-0. Swanson crushes a 434-foot shot. The upper deck left field. This puts him up 2-0. Then the Dodgers answer back. Second and third, clutch two out hit by Will Smith. Turner and Muncie scored on this one. However, Muncie has to earn it. He's going to get in a little collision with uh, Braves catcher Darno. Boom, right here. Now, the throw actually took Darno into the base runner, so that's okay. Great attempt by the catcher, but Muncie just squeezes it in there. Tie ball game. This game was like a heavyweight fight. Back and forth, back and forth. Right here, Riley is a base knock up the gut. Ozzy Albies is going to score easily. Braves are up 3-2. to two. And then Marquecas hits into a really weird double play. Swanson's trying to get home. Gets caught in a pickle. And Riley, who's in between second and third, for some unknown reason is not running the third. Turner heads up, turns around, throws him out. Now let's look at this. As a base runner, you're supposed to commit and just keep going. There's a reason why Swanson's in a pickle to get you to third base. And right here you can see him by the arrow pausing and then going back. And then he goes. And too late by then. Turner heads up play. You can see him in the top of the screen there. Turner turns after hitting Swanson and getting the first out. Throws it the third. Gets the third out. Bad play. And then Freddie Freeman thinking he's going to get another home run. Mookie continues to make stellar plays. Him and Bellinger throughout the series. That was a 430-foot shot. He needed 431. Great play by Mookie stopping that insurance run by Freeman. And then bottom of the fifth, Green makes a great play on the mound. Decides against grabbing the ball. Smart play. Let your defense do the work. They roll the double play. And then Kiki, three, two, bomb. Kiki ties it up with a 424-foot bomb, 26-degree launch angle. We're all tied up, 3-3. Three, three. And Kiki's usually the goofball in the dugout. Not this time. He's dead serious. And bottom of six, Dodgers rallying. Seager grinds into a fielder's choice. Taylor's out at home. Absolutely amazing play by Darno. Doesn't really entirely block the plate, but takes the ball with his momentum, puts his knee down, and blocks the arm. Incredible play. This will keep the game tied. And with the game tied, Cody Bellinger, boom, 2-2 two -two count, two outs, crushes a home run. And look at this, caught by a Dodger fan. What a great souvenir. Not only did you catch it, but it's the home run that gets your team into the World Series. Bellinger hits a 400-foot shot, puts the Dodgers up 4-3. And then look at this, second jump up in the air against Kiki. He separates his shoulder right here, and he has to turn and spin away from his, another teammate right there so he doesn't hurt his shoulder. He goes right into the dugout. They pop it back into place, and he was fine. But, man, separated his shoulder on celebrating. There it is again, the go-ahead home run. And then the last out of the game, fly ball to who else? Bellinger. Easy out. Dodgers win game seven, moving ahead to the World Series. And this was a heck of a comeback by the Dodgers. They were down 3-1 in the series. Aris pitched three solid frames. He was 4-0 during the playoffs. And the MVP goes to Corey Seager, of course. He had just clutch hits throughout the playoffs. Dodgers moving on. Cannot wait to watch the World Series now.